When you think of the inner city, images of riots often springs to mind. The city of Birmingham is no exception. It's a familiar story. Tensions between police and minorities escalate, leading to disorder, like it did in the Hansworth area of Birmingham in 1985. In 2005, almost 20 years to the day, Birmingham erupted again. This time, the violence took a new twist. It was blamed on racism between blacks and Asians. The catalyst was a rumour of a gang rape of a black girl by Asian men resulting in a night of violent disorder in which a young man was stabbed to death. Journalists who came to the area reported on black disaffection with Asian business success and a tendency towards racism within Pakistani culture. Yes, I'll tell you what's going to happen. Repeat of 1980s riot. Rush straight up. In the end of the day, if they're going to mash up more windows and that, like that, no you know, fear. Eight, exactly, no fear, you know what I'm saying? Now that the dust has settled, how true are these reports? Is there really ingrained racism between blacks and Asians? I went to school in Hansworth and I can't remember a single problem. I've come back to the area to take a grassroots look at this mixed ethnic community living under the shadow of racial tension. Fezel Kabasi has been in Lazelles for 34 years. He runs a successful car spare store on the main road. 70% of his customers are black. We came here when all the multinationals and the national companies were here on Lozelle's Road. They quit. We came. When we came, this was a desperate area. If we came in that desperate area and have made a go of it and made it prosperous, who is going to stop us from continuing? We are determined folk. We have made this our home, our place, our base. We're going to stick it out. Now, what do you make of these reports that some shopkeepers weren't treating black customers properly? Do you know anybody who would go into business and want to make a success of it, knowing that he's going to abuse his customers, knowing that he's going to be a disrespectful customer, and then expect to make a success of it? You cannot run a business by being disrespectful to your customer. One of Fezzel's neighbours is beautician Gloria Powell. Her salon has been an unofficial social centre on Lozelle's Road for 20 years. This shop that I had now, it was the Indian lady who rented me the shop, and we just become family. I have Indian, I have Pakistan, I have Africans, I have Chinese, Vietnamese come in here, and we all get on. A few shops down from Gloria's is Sakib's Takeaway. Gospel artist Adrian Burke, a.k.a. Witness, has just popped in for his favourite fried chicken. Yo, I've got keys on the phone, you know. Keys are... I'm on Lazelle's Road. Yeah, I'm... How about a picture of you and your mate, Witness? Yeah, man, that can happen still, Kai, you know. All right, man. It's all good. Witness is a Birmingham boy who has played with Miss Dynamite and So Solid crew. He straddles the world of gospel and ragga to produce hard-hitting music with an anti-bling message. This bling culture, this, this materialistic attitude and behaviour starts to come in and replace your faith for materialism. And in doing that, you know, we lose, you know, we start to divide and then there's wars over the love of money. I don't want uh, the, the, the um, Asian community to lose their roots in like going to their mosque and doing what they do. And I don't want my black community neither um, losing their faith in going to church on a Sunday and bringing in their children to church and to the house of God. I don't want that to happen. So, you know, for me, I'm saying keep it real, keep it straight. Don't lose your identity, because the day you lose your identity, you ain't no earth, nothing again. Witness to that. Mm. Waiting for witness at Earth Studios in Lazelles is Kiza, a music producer who's doing a bungra mix of his new single. Yes, I know this is what we need to get in the studio. Just come on, there's no waste no time. Come. 
Willis, I'm gonna drop you in the first chorus, yeah? Ready? Can't believe what's going on, you's going on. How about I'm a carry offensive with my insults with all if you have learning tools? I mean to be come straight to the point, I think. Every community, you always see certain folks on the streets. I mean, it always happens from that way. I think there's nothing wrong with Asians and Blacks. We've been working throughout the years together, and we should just continue. Just because of one little thing, everybody went mad. But I think there's, there's nothing wrong. There's, there's friendly people living in the area. I reckon we should stick together and stick as one community. On the other end of Lazelle's Road, photographer Vanley Burke is taking pictures of the local Muslim community at Friday prayers. I'm looking at your community from a different perspective, you know, one that you probably wouldn't look at. I notice things that you wouldn't see. Probably you do get some particular Asian people who call themselves on different nationality. Vanley has been photographing this area for 30 years. His work is regarded as the definitive record of migrant life in Hansworth and has been extensively catalogued. He now wants to document the Pakistani Kashmiri community and has been following the progress of the mosque for some time. I've always used photography as a means of understanding whatever I photograph, whoever I photograph, and um, about three, four years ago, I decided to concentrate specifically on the Asian community. And this photographic process for me is just one other step in that process. In the washroom, Iftikhar from the mosque shows how people perform ablution before prayer. three times. And emphasize, we always tend to use our right hand first onto our left hand. Then onto the man. Then the face has to be from the forehead up to the yeah. at the back of, and earlobe to earlobe. We have to ensure everything is wet and clean. We've had a lot of negative stories about this particular area and what we really need to do is send this positive message that through vanity's uh, pictures and you know and hopefully ach achieve a great deal out of it. I have to say it's not really a PR job I mean for the purposes of the television if you like uh, we're conducting this in interview in public but I think this conversation between both of us would have taken place anyway. The recent disturbances may have scarred relations between blacks and Asians. If journalists really want to come here and find racists, of course they will succeed. But as long as Vanley, Faisal and Witness have an influence at a grassroots level, the future for Lazelles remains bright.